I'm going to attempt to interpret the starting photographs that I showed on the intro of Wisman's Wood. Wisman's Wood is a very ancient woodland in the middle of Dartmoor, uh, oak woodland, and it has got really eerie atmosphere. Uh, all the trees are twisted and gnarled and uh, it makes for a, a real brooding atmosphere. Hopefully I can recreate that with the watercolour I'm about to paint now. I'm using Arches Rough Paper to sort of try and break up various areas when I'm painting it. So we'll see how it goes. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is put an overall wash over the whole of the paper. Basically dark in the corners, come into I want a light source about here and now obviously as it falls down into the wood dark again but it's going to cover the paper completely before I actually do anything on the top of it. I'm not going to draw anything it's just purely going to be freestyle as we go along. Right first job get this paper soaking. Not the whole lot. Brush, brush feeds in there, uh, brush hairs. And so I want it pretty wet and completely wet as well. It's not like doing a sky where you perhaps leave gaps in it to give you hard edges in the clouds. I want to cre try and create a nice misty atmospheric background. I'm going to be using Cobalt Turquoise, Ultramarine Blue and Raw Sienna. Those are the initial colours. That should hopefully give me like a greeny blue haze, which is what I'm looking for. I'm just going to look at this sideways to see if I've got every... Oh, there's a dry spot there. It's a good tip to actually look at it sideways, uh, just to uh, make sure you've got every single area. Working this now. Right, I'm pretty sure that's uh, got all the area covered. Oh, still a dry spot there. Around that area there. That's better. Okay, I'll start off with the raw sienna sort of around this area here. Just going to form the, the light source and I'm going to work into that. Right. Cobalt turquoise. This may look strong, but believe me, it will fade. Um, with watercolour, it always fades a good 25-30% from what you initiate with it. So, it's best to be brave and put it on really strongly. So I'm working around that. Right in there. Working up towards the the light. Now it will go slightly green across there. Well, that's fine because uh, there's a lot of moss on that in the the base of this. But uh, that's got the colour in. I'm just going to work that up into across there. Working up into that area there. Okay. Oh, another colour I shall be using is Sodalite. Sodalite Genuine Daniel Smith colour. Right, that's got the. Uh, let's just put some ultramarine in that now. Just in places. Just in the corners. I should put some Sodalite in this as well so it'll tend to grey it down. As I say, it might look a bit dramatic, but and get some 
so the light's on the go as well. Just put that in the ultramarine just to darken it down in these corners. Oops. I'm going to go over this in, with the brush in a minute. Just to, what I really want is the nice brooding atmosphere. A little shadow down the bottom here as well. Oh, picked up a bit of uh, Ben Sierra there, that's nice. All the merry up. As I say, it looks a bit uh, dramatic. But what I want these colours to do is all blend. And they're starting to granulate as well, which is what I want. Come up into the middle there. And I'll finish off by putting some more turquoise in that. It's got a little bit too blue. I'll do more of a green, greeny colour. So let's get some really thick paint and come in with that just in the top corners and sort of across there as well. Streaking that down. Right, I want to just lift those spots out of there. I don't want dark spots actually in there at the moment. So let's just get a bit of tissue. It will also lighten the centre of this, which is not, not a bad thing. Just give it a bit of variation. And also dab around the, the edges of this. So that it just calms the effect down slightly and gives the dappled effect as if coming through the trees there. Right, let's get a clean brush on the go and uh, just work that out a bit. Those dark spots in there I don't really want. Okay. Right, just before this totally dries, um, there's a lot of rocks sort of in this area. What I'm going to do is just lift out some of this colour, just in those areas, just while it's still damp and it's the shine is just starting to go off it, so it shouldn't creep into the areas that I dab off basically. But um, this will give us a few rock shapes, actually in the foreground here. Which I can work with. They're sort of quite, they are quite round rocks as well. So leave some bits in there. Ok, 
Okay, that's thoroughly dry now. The first task is to put some distant trees sort of around the centre here. I just need to just dampen this surface so that they sort of form a misty background rather than hard edges. So that's what I'll do now. Just going to use a sponge just to control the water a little bit. So let's just dampen this. Don't want it too wet. Just around this area here. If you get it too wet it'll start to pick up the colour underneath. I don't want that. I've mixed up uh, a little bit of burnt sienna and ultramarine just to do some faint trees in this now. Just in the distance here. And so I'm starting thick and just whispering them out. Tree this side now. Just a nice twisty. These in the brush stroke off as I go up.
little bare over here. I think I really put a really big tree over this side. Sort of coming out of this lot here. off slightly. Nice clean brush. that off there. Right, what we don't want is a hard edge down by these rocks here. So let's uh, just take that out a bit. Right, there's a lot more twigs got to go in, but um, I think I'll put some of the rocks in first and then I can focus on bits of this after that. Right, I mixed up a little bit of ultramarine and raw sienna. I just wanted it as a muted green just to um, just put some initial washes on these stones. So let's. Uh, just make out where they are. There's a lot of moss sort of growing on them. As I say, they're all leave little gaps between them so I can see where the stones are going. And I'll darken up the back edges afterwards. This is just sort of the front, a little highlight.
This is burnt sienna and satellite, so let's just uh, get some darks in underneath these stones. sort of obscure shapes that just need to be hinted at now so I'm just using the uh, big mop 
the mix of that uh, raw sienna and uh, sodalite just to suggest some of these rocks that go in forward because they do go all the way on the base of the forest floor so just uh, drop a few hints on those distant ones back a bit. Perhaps just a touch of the shadow as well. Just in places. Using the roundness of the mop there just to suggest shapes in the long stall that slot. The marks are actually sort of disappearing. A clean piece of tissue and uh, just just look inside some of those that. Right, I think I need to let this dry now because I want to put some uh, spatter over these rocks as well just to give them a bit of form and also I want to do a complete sort of wash, a greenish wash over them to sort of tie it all together. I'll, I'll let it dry first anyway. Okay, I'll let this dry dry overnight. Um, basically, I've decided I'm quite happy with this. It, it's more of a sort of almost a frosty look. Um, quite a cool background and this almost looks like could be frost actually in amongst the trees there so I won't be washing over that I will obviously be working more around the root, roots of these trees and that but one thing I am going to do I decided that these two trees are actually the wrong way around for perspective uh, this should be lighter than this one um, so I'm going to lighten this tree and darken this one and that would make it more like how the left hand side is then because at the moment it doesn't look quite right um, I could basically darken this tree more than that but it would take it too dark I think um, so I'll, I'll lift some of the colour out of this uh, not so much the branches it's just the trunk and that and uh, that should uh, hopefully correct it and obviously make this one darker okay I've got a smallish mop just using pure water now and I've got some tissue that doesn't have any pattern on it. Unfortunately, some of my tissue has uh, like a swirly pattern on it, which will actually get left in the paint if I try and dab out with this. So I've just got some uh, some plain tissue just to dab this out a bit. So I'll make a start on the trunk here. Um, I've made this tree darker now. I mixed up some perylene green and sodalite genuine just to give it that sort of greeny mossy look and um, I think what I'm going to do now is start to put some roughness onto this, uh, the actual uh, branches as they come up. Indicate the moss that's hanging and growing down so that will be the next task. 
Right, I've mixed a fairly thick mixture of perlene green and uh, burnt sienna. Let's just see how this looks on these trunks now. So to, using a fan brush and so pushing at the base of the trunk and just a quick flick down like that. Just in one or two places. Right, so I just need to put a little bit of um, greenish wash just over that left hand tree here as well just to exaggerate the, uh, the mossy effect on that tree. Right, I think we'll put some more twigs actually in the top here.
Right, it's filling some around, around the base of the trees. I've got a little wash of burnt sienna and perylene. I'm just going to uh, just touch in in places. Right, just putting some more dry brushwork on these uh, on this moss that's hanging. So I've got a little bit of Naples yellow here. Mix it up fairly. 
it's pretty opaque Napa's yellow I need a bit more paint than that don't want it too thin otherwise it will do the same as uh, gouache it will just uh, fade to nothing so I'm just mixing it up on the separate palette here I say it is opaque but I don't want too much on my brush because I'm going to try and dry brush this in so let's just take a bit of Right, I'm not entirely happy with this tree. What I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to extend that centre trunk upwards and sort of make more of a tree of it.
Right, that's thoroughly dry now. I just need to put some uh, dry brush work actually on this tree. Just to... It needs to be a bit darker than that, I think. gone a little dark so I'll just lift out some of that one or two places Bit of perlin green on that to green that tree up a little bit. Right, I'm going to put a, a yellow glaze. I've got some transparent yellow oxide just over this these trees, just to pull them together. Um, now putting the glaze on, it's a little risky. Don't want it. Uh, you've got to be fairly quick and just once over. So otherwise, you could start lifting other colours. I've got a fairly big brush to spread it out. So we'll see where we go.
I don't want it over the middle bit so I'm just putting it across the trees here just to pull all this together and sort of mystify the background a little bit Okay, I'll just go around with a smaller brush now just to clean up some of the edges on this. I don't really want it there. So I'll just take that out. That's okay. That's alright there. Bring that down a little bit more into there. Alright, that's just sort of pulled all the trees together there. Let's just uh, take that out a bit there. Right, I think we'll let that dry and see what we got. Okay, as a final touch, I'm going to put some spatter across this. I've got some soda light and some burnt sienna. I'll probably put a couple of other colours in there. I've obviously masked off uh, an area that I don't want it to go into. And uh, let's just put a bit of on these rocks. that's pretty much dry I think to do any more I'm uh, just fussing with it now so I'm going to take the tape off and uh, you'll see the end result always tear away from the uh, the picture Come out quite well, actually. Quite pleased with that. I think it needed that wash basically to pull that top into more of a dense canopy than what it was. Um, but I think it creates the mood I was looking for, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.